hello welcome back to let's play minecraft ftb direwolf 20 pack cave gen survival <laughs> long name i need to shorten that to something but anyway this is four page and this episode we're going to build a smeltery that's right i've been working towards this for quite some time um and i'm finally nearly there all right we need one smelty controller, I have that. Nine seared bricks. Uh, one seared tank. How do you make a tank? Glass. I need to make glass. Uh, I'm still making seared bricks. Which I could take these and make a bunch of them. At least just those for now. I need to find a place to put it. Let's put it out here somewhere. Um, I need to fill that in. So, after last episode, I uh, went and mined some stuff. I killed a lot more zombies. Got a lot more zombie heads, as you can see. Uh, a lot more zombie flesh. Got a bunch of iron and copper. And I found something interesting, and I will show you guys, after I built this smeltery, what it was that I found. Just to give you a little bit of a anticipation right there. So, in order to build this, we need to build a 3x3 three three square of seared bricks. Like so. And then, we need, let's see, 3 by 3 hollow inside, controller one layer up, and fill a, and the lava tank anywhere on the same level. Okay, so that would be the seared tank, which I need to make glass. So, where'd my sand go? Yeah, I got a bunch of sand. Which is good because I really need sand. And I found this end portal frame a long time ago in a chest. Uh, basically in the end, uh, the cave gen mod, there are no um, fortresses, whatever they're called, that has the end portals. So to get to the end, you have to build your own end portal. You find the end portal frames in chests around the caves. And you have to find, I think, like 12 of them. I forget. However many you need to make an end portal. And then you make the ender eyes the way you make ender eyes. Oops. Wrong button. And then you put the eyes of ender into the end portal and voila you have a portal to the end pretty basic also i found potatoes which i was like ecstatic about i didn't realize i had them I killed you know that you can get them from zombies i think and i <laughs> killed one picked it up and i didn't realize i had it and i looked at my inventory i'm like what's that it's a potato and i was ecstatic i was like oh heck yes I have a bunch of uh, rotting flesh. I'm going to make a lot of monster jerky. That's neat. Okay, got me some glass. And I might as well turn this into bread. Since I'm here. Make myself seared tank. I'll make a couple, a couple more, because why not? Just fill them up and keep them full of uh, lava. Keep them full of that there lava. Yeah. And you need drains. I need to get a drain, at least one. I'll make probably make it too high. So place the controller one layer up and the lava. Lava tank anywhere on the same level. Fill in the rest of the space with seared bricks, lava tanks, or drains as you like. The small end of the drain should be facing the outside. 
If you're successful, the controller will light up and start working. Fill the tank with lava, smeltery with metal, and watch it go. No vertical restrictions. So yeah, I'll make it too high. Um, three tanks. And how do you build the drain? The drain is just like that. Okay. And the glass is just so you can see inside of it. I think. Or maybe the window? Uh, I don't know. Regardless, I only really need one drain. And I think a faucet? And then a bunch more of these. Do I have more? I think I might need more. Need that. But let's go do this. Put the controller right here. And these on either side. One more right there. Get out of here. I'm going to need at least one more of these things. Um, so that means I need to cook up some more seared bricks. Or seared brick to make into seared bricks. Huh. I need more coal. Coal. There we go. Put this, uh, right. I think I might need it on the second level. Because it needs to drain into the casting table. Uh, this thing. Which is made with more seared brick. Got it. Casting basin. All right. The faucet on a drain, casting table below it. Other liquid removal objects will work, but are frowned upon. So I guess I don't really need a second, like, high up. I probably should put it on the first level and just put the table below it. Might make it better. Make it easier. I don't know. Okay, there's a lot of other parts that doesn't really explain. So... I'm not entirely certain. And put this right here. Yes. All right, here we go. This is the smeltery. Um, I'm gonna go get some more dirt and widen this area a little. Because it's getting a little cramped. Where's all my dirt? I had some. Good job. Come on. Oops. It's just gonna be like a floating ledge. And I'm not gonna be able to get the, get up this way like I was before. There. Casting table goes there. Hmm. Ah. My monster jerky is done. Um. Nice. That, that. Make some more. There. Ah. 
I need to make some more grout. Which means I need some sand, some clay, and some gravel. In here, I think. Yes. Just like so. All right. Come on. Um, I only have three. So I need to make a casting table. But then how do I make the things? Mixing two or more metals in the smeltery may result in an alloy. Process happens automatically. If you need more space to process metal, add more layers. Casts are made differently from patterns. Details are found later. Oh, great. Details are found later. Alright. Do I get another book then? Like, later? I hope so. Because if I start, you know, smelting ores and I really don't know what to do with them, that's going to be kind of a bummer. Also, I, uh, Got my battle sign all full up on smite. So now I can kill zombies with two hits of it. Which, granted, is not like the greatest of attacks. I should plant these. Like, if I had like a iron one, I could do a lot more damage. But it... It's a lot better than it was instead of doing like having to hit them like five or six times. All right, casting table. Let's go put this bad boy down. And then the spout goes right there. And I need to put lava in it. Oh gosh. Now I know where there is some lava. Um, there's some down there, and then there's some way down there. Right down there, and then there's some way over there. But in order to get that, I'm going to need buckets. Um... Hang on. I wonder if I can use cans. Do Did it, are there canisters? Fuel can. Ethanol can. Where are lava can? Here we go. So how do you make that? Transposer, squeezer. Okay, so I don't want that. There was, uh, something. Could have sworn. Well, I could go into, like, industrial craft and stuff and start pumping things into tanks and whatnot, but I don't feel like having to get all that infrastructure and everything. So, I'm gonna have to make do with uh, buckets for now, I guess. Don't worry, I'll skip all those parts where I'm running back and forth with a bunch of buckets. <laughs> so I'll do that in a little bit. Um, let's see if it'll actually come in. Like, in order to put these things in. I think you just toss them in, right? Yeah. They just disappear, and they're all right there. 
But they're not here yet because I don't have any lava to smelt them with. So I'm going to make a another couple of buckets. And uh, have fun. And I will go get some lava. After, of course, they, uh, they're done smelting the iron and being made and whatnot. Hmm. Okay, let's see, there's some lava down there, a bunch of red mushrooms. I need to find some brown mushrooms, because that way I can get some mushroom stew going. There's some lava down there. And mushroom stew is like one of the best food sources, because you can just grow giant mushrooms with bone meal, cut them down and get a buttload of more mushrooms. So it's like infinite su food source. Super easy. Alright, how are you doing? You're all done. Alright, I forgot that you could... Oh yeah, buckets stacked now. But not filled buckets, of course. <laughs> And I for, as I was saying before, I forgot that you can make iron and gold pressure plates. That's pretty interesting. Alright, let's go down here. Get me some of this lava. a lot here. That's pretty cool. Lava bucket lava bucket glows. Alright, as you can see, the iron blocks are now showing up here. They're rendering, but they aren't, like, actually there. As you can see, I'm, like, walking right through them. And it doesn't show anything when I hover over them. And I'm not getting hurt, because they're kind of not really there. The lava's in here. Oops. Didn't want to do that. I need to do this. So how's this going? Okay. Very, very good. How you doing? Almost there? Alright. So they're all melted into this nice red liquid right here. And now we just tap on this. Left click. This? How do we do this? Smeltery! Smeltery, how do I use you? I don't know. Do do drain so the tank will allow the smeltery the launch go. Maybe I need like a mold in there. Put a faucet on a drain and a casting table below it.
Hmm. I can make bronze, aluminum, manulin. I think that's how you pronounce that. Blink casts are made by pouring aluminum, brass, or gold into an empty casting table. Oh. These are used in crafting recipes and can be remelted. Part casts must be created by pouring metal around existing parts like a pickaxe head. Oh, okay. I think that was already there, but I didn't notice that. So I kind of, I think I screwed up a little bit. Um, can I uh, take this out? What did I just do? I have a bucket of molten iron. Neat. I didn't know you could do that. Obviously. It helps to just dink around sometimes. Alright, how many buckets of molten iron do I need to make? I think this is the last one. So. Ah, crap. <laughs> it's not full enough for me to take it out. Dang it! Well, I screwed up royally. Make another one. No? Not going to. Alright, well. It's got everything out of it, at least. Um. Now. Aluminum. I have some of that. I think I need... Uh... I'm going to guess... Four. Are you not going to work either? I have to put you in individually. Guess so. All right. So let's go make a part out of. Can it be anything? Can I make it out of anything? Let's make it out of some stone. I have some stone shards here. Um. Let's see. I want to make... Start with a pickaxe. Alright. No? Well, gosh dang it, how do you work this thing? <laughs> Um, maybe I need more aluminum? I'm a little confused. As you can see, I've never really used this mod before. I've seen a little bit about it. Um, and I know my way around it until the smeltery, and then that's where everything kind of goes to crap. And then I don't know anything about it. All right, come on. All right, it's set aluminum. Blank casts are made by pouring aluminum, brass, or gold into an empty casting table. Empty casting table. That's an empty casting table, people. You see it. It's a casting table. It's empty. Alright. Part casts must be created by pouring metal around existing parts like a pickaxe head. Hmm. 
really just doesn't like me, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna smelt the rest of these. Might as well. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I thought I did, but then it just kind of decided not to work the way I wanted it to. The way I figured it would, and the book isn't helping me too much. Um, what kind of these things can I make? What happens if I put a pattern in there? It won't work, obviously. It just doesn't like it. Alright, there are some other things in here that I saw that you could make. Um... Tank, window, glass. What is this casting channel? And a casting basin. All right. Not being very helpful. Sorry for that. Well, I think I might have to look up on the wiki how to do this, which I don't like to do that. I typically like to figure things out on my own, uh, unless, of course, there are certain special things. But, um, okay, that's enough playing around with the smeltery, which I could have sworn I would have gotten working. But I found something, which I told you about near the beginning of the episode and I'm going to go show it to you while I was I found it while I was mining out some stuff I, oh geez where the crap did you come from what the heck what the world was that they're just well obviously they're heck gates but why were they so fast and they were everywhere Look at these guys, they're just... Come here, jerk. Come here. Look at this guy! He's friggin' zipping around everywhere. I see you. And you're gonna kill me. And there's another two. Where are these guys coming from? Jeez. Well, I'm sorry. I was going to show you guys some stuff. But these guys won't let me. Where did you guys go? I really don't like you. And of course, oh, this guy doesn't have a bow. I rather like the skeletons that don't have bows. Hi. The heck ain't with a wizard hat. Get back here. Jeez. Me no like you. Alright. Battle sign, pickaxe, shovel, torch, dagger. There. Now I'm ready. Thought I was ready for anything. I was just going to hope that there weren't going to be a thousand skeletons 
when instead there was a thousand Hecates that were super fast. That I was I was expecting anything but that. Wow. So it was over here. Not down that hole. There's another Hecate. What's with all these Hecates? Everywhere. Jeez. I think it was down this way. Not that way. It's down here somewhere. Hi. Not that way. Bear with me, guys. It might take a little bit. That wasn't this way. <laughs> Pretty sure it was down this way. Yes. I found a dungeon. Hi. With a zombie spawner and everything. Which I'm going to quickly incapacitate. Before it causes me too many more problems. And see what's in this chest. <gasps> Apples! And an egg! Oh, yes! And another egg. Cocoa beans, brown mushrooms. Yes, I hit the jackpot. I certainly, most certainly, incredibly hope that one of these eggs gives me a chicken. If not, I will be really disappointed. And there's down there, which is... I don't want to fall. Some uranium. Ooh, tin. I don't have any tin yet. I'll get some. Get some tin. I need to get rid of... I'll get rid of the stone pickaxe head. I don't need it. But anyways, guys. That's all the time I have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll come join me for the next one. Until then, everybody. Take it easy. Ta-ta.